Burning out is a very unpleasant thing that everyone most likely will go through. Yes, as in previous video, this episode also will be dedicated to telling you about another difficult stage that's almost impossible to avoid. I had a burnout several times in my life and the last one was quite tough. It's best, as always, to start with the life story. This happened about a year ago. That time I was working on my project, getting accustomed to a new country and doing 10 more things at the same time. At some point I realized that I lost interest in everything. This is how it happens. Sometimes you lose your passion abruptly, sometimes gradually. But the essence doesn't change. Burnout is that feeling when you say enough is enough. I don't want anymore. As I explained before, during such periods you can seriously harm yourself or you can go through them make an effort to get back to normal as soon as possible and learn your lessons. I believe that the most correct thing to do here is to find a way to talk to yourself and see the whole situation from above. Understand what brought you here, determine for yourself where you need to move and start acting. But the most important thing here is to remain honest with yourself. However, this episode is about something a little different. It's more about how to prevent burnout not how to get out of it. So here are my three tips. First, constantly ask yourself how you feel. When your actions are in harmony with your thoughts and feelings, you organically develop and know yourself. The difficulty is that many have no idea how to set up this dialogue with themselves. And I won't give you the only correct answer because it will be different for each person. Some people find it useful to immerse themselves into music. Others sit down and start writing out their thoughts on a piece of paper or do sports. All these paths lead to creation of a certain state. It makes it possible to better understand your life and at any stage remove or at least reduce the influence of harmful factors and actions. If you ask yourself about your feelings once a week and everything is going fine, but at some point you realize that you are not in harmony anymore, this is it. You have identified the problem at its inception stage and now you need to take specific actions to neutralize it. This became possible thanks to the fact that you systematically analyzed yourself. When you are trying to find a way to talk yourself on a regular basis, do it in a way that comes naturally to you. Don't try to overpower yourself to set up communications in the wrong condition. Here you should be in your habitat and concentrate on introspection, nothing should take away your attention. My method is walking and talking to myself. I've been doing it for many years and my burnout happened precisely at the time when I took a long break. Second, feel every action with meaning. This is perhaps the most important realization you have to make in order not to burn out and stay on course. When you know why you take every step and assure that it's correct, Will it be at least some fluctuations inside you? I'm sure that in this case you'll be in harmony and proud of where and how you're going. But the thing is that not everyone understands how to do this. And there is nothing surprising here. It's quite difficult and again, a different method will work for each person. However, I can tell you a bit about myself. I have an analytical mindset and therefore I often break everything down into components. In this case, you can see the real nature of things and emotions. Let's start with the fact that I generally don't do meaningless things, either because I think that they are not worth my time and attention or precisely because I feel everything with meaning. So, my scheme is simple. I always visualize where certain actions will lead me in the long term. If I see that a specific action can become a cog in the whole mechanism to achieve my goals, it has a very deep meaning and no questions will arise. If not, then I think, how much I really want to do it? If there is a desire, I will try to give it a specific function and implement it into my life. What if I can't? I just get rid of it and move on. You need to find your own way to imbue your actions with meaning and every targeted step will be pleasure. And here we smoothly move on to the third tip. Know how to throw away unnecessary things and free your head. Yes, it's like cleaning your room, but it's about your whole life. Remember that the time of each of us is limited and it's simply pointless to waste yourself on various rubbish. 
especially if it doesn't give you confidence in your path. Almost always quality is much more important than quantity. So the advice to concentrate on few, not many, works here as well. If you realize that you have a serious lack of focus and you cannot concentrate on important things, get rid of everything unnecessary. If this is not done on time, your life risks turning into an incomprehensible mess and this in turn will lead to dissatisfaction and burnout. Understand this, burnout doesn't always come from hustling and lack of rest. For example, it wasn't the case for me at all. It can come from a lack of order and chaos around instead. Sometimes the best move you can do for yourself is just to take an honest look at your life and cross out what's stopping you from moving forward. It's like throwing extra weight off a boat so it doesn't sink. Be brave enough to change your life and look forward. This will make you a person who will always be on top. I hope that my advices and experience will bring you real benefit. Perhaps when you need words of encouragement, you will open this video again and find something motivating to yourself. Let each of my videos move you to action and growth. This is my goal. Guys, thank you so much for watching my content. If this particular episode was useful for you, if you appreciate it, give me your like and write the comment below. If it wasn't, give me your dislike and write the comment below as well to explain your position so I'll be able to make the next episode even better. Follow my channel and see you in a day after tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much again.